Okay, so let's start blending the back of the canvas, as you can see. Trying to be a little unique here. Just blending it in here. Blending it in. Brush. I'm just gonna use the blending brush right here, just to blend this. As you can see, it's a blending brush here. Yeah, before it gets too dry, I'm gonna put a little gold leaf in. Okay, it's not easy, but I cut out little pieces of it right here. A little piece of this gold leaf, and then we can move on to our uh, next step. Okay, so while we let this thing dry, what I want to do is work on our, another step. What I want to do is, uh, we got this acrylic 8x10 uh, panel here. Oh, take this. Let's see how that goes. Drop it in like this. Ah. Okay, so let's start with the uh, some raw umber color here. Just kind of start this uh, corner, upper right hand corner here. Blending, I mean applying these color right here. Just start with cashew color here. What I'm going for is a little bit of a more of a neutral kind of look to it. Yeah, there you go. And here is a little bit of titanium white color here. Just kind of balancing these things out a little bit. Blending it in right here, blending the whites in right here. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more white to all this titanium white here. And a little bit of green here, as you can see, a little bit of green on this corner. Just to, what is it called again? Light olive green. Light, uh, light olive green is what I'm adding right here. And right here, as you can see here, before paint gets any dry, I'm just gonna use my toothpick. toothpick kind of thing and just kind of I don't know just kind of adding some stuff in there so I'm gonna apply not too much detail I don't want to do too much but uh, this effect works best I don't know, emanating some sort of light emanating from here and you'll see why a little bit later why I'm gonna do that create that effect right now I always try to uh, clean our blending brush and other brushes as much as so uh, there's a little magnets here and that's, it'll kind of snap into place right here like that. And uh, I'll show you more about it as we uh, approach this. And I'll be painting these to kind of match, match this colors, color theme right here, so. All right, so this is the installation form here and uh, this will play, I'll show you as we go along, but uh, this will be more of a three-dimensional representation of this lower right corner, this right here. Very carefully, of course. All right, so these, these are a little uh, hills with a little steps, a little staircase. Right now, I'm gonna add a little doorway, a little door right here that uh, I'm gonna have to walk through, or we're gonna have to walk through. And these are some brass wood that I have leftover stuff that I've, uh, that I still have, I'm gonna use a little doorway. All right, so I'm gonna use a little glue, glue here. There we go. And see if it will attach itself. This, first time I'm trying this, so here we are. Here's the pathway or stair staircase right here that we have to walk and walk up to this hill. And here's this uh, mysterious doorway, symbolic of um, a sense of uh, uh, opportunity or just the unknown, you know, symbolic of uh, just the unknown situation that we just have to experience and uh, have the courage to go through. And uh, that's what this uh, piece of the art represents. And let's move on. And paint the first layer. Like a rock. That's what I'm trying to uh, convey. Here, right here. Rock. I don't know, I just kind of painted it white. And I want to accent, add some accent to this thing case right here. And we're gonna let it dry. We're gonna let this one dry. 
I'm kind of impatient, it's still wet, but I'm getting a little bit impatient. So I'm just gonna yeah, glue this in right here. I used to use a uh, crazy glue, which is not recommended on a uh, surface of insulation foam like this. Learn my lesson from my previous failures. So uh, just uh, let's put this right here like this. Place it in place. Okay, so uh, let's use a little pellet action here, pellet knife action. To what we want to do here is I want to just uh, draw a little uh, mountain here, mountain suggestion of a hill. This is our uh, final destination here that I want to suggest in this painting. Uh, With the tip of this uh, pellet knife, I want to suggest that there's a little bridge right there. All right, so here I'm just going to add a little more black and brown to this on, tip, on the tip of this pellet knife. I know Bob Ross does an excellent, much more better job than I do, but uh, you know, I just have to do what I what I can here. Something like that, you know, something like that along those lines. That's good. Okay, here I want to indicate a little foliage with the green right here. There you go. To indicate that this, once you cross the bridge, as you pass this uh, door of unknown and uh, step into this world, uh, hey, oftentimes uh, we're going to find a new opportunity where uh, we never expected something hopeful and positive and and that kind of takes us to, you know, next step in our journey, you know, and there you go. That's what this uh, symbolic place, uh, at least to me, uh, is what this uh, painting, through this painting, I'm trying to convey. Just kind of, you know, loose, loose painting. You know? I used to be really detailed about things like this, but uh, nowadays I'm leaning more towards just kind of, so making suggestions, yes, that's what I'm trying to do. Making just tiny. And I'm getting really into steps because, <laughs> well, in my day job, I, I use a lot of staircases every day, you know, to try to stay healthy. And, and uh, that's why I like this idea of uh, putting a little step staircase right here. And as you, as our viewer, as you reach to the top of this hill, and this is just a symbolic, what I wanted to indicate was with the color, something positive with illuminating, something yellow is kind of good. Yellow is good. Yeah, yellow color. This final destination is filled with, uh, with lights and symbolic of uh, just hope. And, you know, there will be a lot of challenging times, of course, but uh, a little bit of orange, maybe a little bit, yeah, a little bit of orange. Again, I don't want to be too detailed here, so I'm just going to, you know, do that, and then... Alright, so this is the frame that I want to try to paint to complement. Alright, so here's the final piece uh, I made for you guys. Uh, it's not perfect, but... Uh, and here is the uh, framing with the magnets in the back and kind of snaps it into place as you can see. So you can always detach this for cleaning later. But um, okay, so uh, here it is. I hope you uh, enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoy painting this piece for you. But uh, and I hope to see you again for another wonderful day of creation. But uh, let's see. There is a little light that I want to show you right here. It's a little light. Switch this on. And it lights up for nighttime viewing. Something a little different, you know. All right, so I'm also adding this uh, LED light here. Stabilizes one of the cables here. There you go, and I'll show you. 